To control the hypnotizer with DMX, first add the DMX2 component and create a view. To do this, open configuration, click add and select DMX2. To add the component to a layout, click on an empty layout, right click and name it. To add it to the pin board, click the HippoNet button at the bottom, select DMX2 and drag it out. Once added to the pin board, use the lock button here to unlock the transformation controls to make it bigger or smaller or move the window around. By default, Hypotizer automatically patches the current patching output manager into the DMX2 component. To change or edit the patch, there are two options. The first and easiest option is to use the auto patch feature. To use auto patch, click auto patch and select the protocol. There are three options, ArtNet, MANet or SACM. Select the start address or combined start address, which calculates the address, including subnets and universe maximums. Choose which pin groups to patch, layers, mixes, viewports, or the timeline. To patch a pin group, turn on the individual toggles. In this example, only the layers will be patched. After selecting the pin groups to be patched, use the drop down list for the personalities. Hypnotizer works just like a moving light. The personality is a preset list of associations between channel numbers and fixture controls, where fixture controls are pins in Hypnotizer. Therefore, we can choose which personality we wish to use depending on how we want the pins associated with the channels. When the lighting desk was patched earlier, a 4.8 personality was used. To make sure the personalities match, I'm going to choose this from the list. Click OK and a warning message will pop up, warning it is going to delete the current patch. It will be replaced with the settings just selected. You can see Universe A has layer 1, 2 and 3. Universe B has got layer 4 on. To check if data is coming in, click on the Monitor tab. The Monitor tab shows incoming data. Red zeros on the whole universe show there is no data. If red zeros are shown on the whole universe and data is being sent from the lighting desk, it indicates that Hypnotizer is either not configured correctly or there is a problem with the network. If green numbers are visible, the Hypnotizer is getting data from the network. If the Hypnotizer is not behaving as expected, check the personalities and patch match on both the lighting desk and the Hypnotizer. To edit the patch, go back to the patch window, select the universe on the left hand side here, and on the right hand side are the universe properties. Here you can edit the name, change the protocol or change the universe number. Clicking on the fixture will bring up the fixture properties on the right. You can give it a name, change its start channel or change the personality. To add or remove a fixture from the list, right click and delete it. This means this fixture will no longer be controlled by DMX. To add a new fixture, select the Add Fixture button. Choose a fixture from the list, for example, Engine, Mix 1, Layer 1. Choose the personality to use and click OK. Now, by default, it has patched it at the end of the channel count, which means it is now overlapping. However, in this example, there is a gap at the beginning. To change the start channel, go to the fixture properties and select channel 1. 